The nucleus is the most important organelle in the cell. It stores the cell's genetic material. The genes in the nucleus are essentially your body's blueprint. It determines if your eyes are blue or brown, whether you are tall or short, or even whether you're a terrible singer or not. It also ensures that all your cells, and therefore your organs, and your entire system functions properly. The nucleus is found in most cells of most organisms on this planet, and the genes within describe how each organism is. The nucleus is surrounded by the endoplasmic reticulum. The endoplasmic reticulum is a continuous membrane system directly connected to the membrane surrounding the nucleus. The endoplasmic reticulum forms a series of flattened sacs that we can see ahead of us. It performs many functions and is very important in the synthesis, modification, folding, and transport of proteins in the cell. There are two types of endoplasmic reticulums in a eukaryotic animal cell. the smooth endoplasmic reticulum, and the rough endoplasmic reticulum. The rough endoplasmic reticulum we see here has many tiny bodies attached to it. These bodies are ribosomes. The ribosomes are where proteins are synthesized. There are also many ribosomes in the cytoplasm, as we can see around us. There are specific types of proteins that are synthesized at the endoplasmic reticulum. For example, some proteins stay in the endoplasmic reticulum, while others might be transported elsewhere. Even though the rough endoplasmic reticulum is close to the nucleus, the proteins that the nucleus needs are actually synthesized by the free ribosomes in the cytoplasm. The smooth endoplasmic reticulum doesn't have any ribosomes attached to it. It is involved in the synthesis of lipids for the cell. These lipids, along with the proteins made by ribosomes, are used to produce new cellular membrane for the cell. The entire nucleus is covered by the nuclear envelope. The nuclear envelope is a two-layered membrane. It has an outer and an inner membrane. Each membrane has a layer of phospholipids. The phospholipids look like a ball with a tail attached to it. The phosphate heads are hydrophilic, meaning they love water. The fatty acid tails are hydrophobic. They hate water. The tails are pointing inwards since they hate water, thus forming a phospholipid bilayer. We can see small bodies on the nuclear membrane. These are ribosomes again. Proteins are synthesized at the ribosome. The small holes that we can see on the nuclear membrane are nuclear pores. Anything that needs to pass from the cytoplasm into the nucleus moves through these nuclear pores. Since the pores are so small, only ions, proteins, or small molecules can move freely between the cytoplasm and the nucleus. The 
The nucleus also contains chromatin. Chromatin is made up of DNA and supporting structural proteins. Each chromatin is actually a very long string of DNA which coils itself to form a chromosome. When the cell is getting ready to divide, the DNA arranges itself to form chromosomes. This DNA is packed very tightly. If we unraveled all the DNA in just one human cell, it would be over six feet long. The nucleus is very important because it controls and coordinates all cell functions, is responsible for hereditary characteristics, and also initiates cell division. We'll learn more about DNA and protein synthesis soon.